So today I'm talking about a P0315 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0315 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position system variation not learned. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a crankshaft position sensor that's just monitoring the crankshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer, which uses the information for timing of the engine, like when to open the fuel injectors, when to send out spark, different things like this. And when these crankshaft position sensors are manufactured, there's going to be small variations that's inside of them. It's going to be very minimal, but since the timing of the engine needs to be very accurate, the small variation can throw things off, can throw off the computer, and different things like this. And so for this reason, anytime the crankshaft position sensor is changed out, or the computer is changed out, or anything like that, the computer needs to do what's called a relearn to measure these slight variations that the sensor has, and then it stores it inside of memory. And when it's monitoring the timing of the engine, it takes those values that it's stored in memory to adjust things and get the timing of the engine exactly right. But when you get this P0315 code, the computer doesn't have this information. It doesn't know what the sensor variation is. But so it has to go through what's called the crankshaft position sensor relearn. One thing to mention about all this is that if you ever have to swap out one of these crankshaft position sensors, try to get an OEM original sensor for your vehicle because those should be the closest to the original sensor that's being swapped out. The variation between OEM sensors should be much smaller than like a third party one or some kind of cheap sensor. So if you do ever have to swap out one of these sensors, it's always a good idea to try to get an OEM sensor, if possible. And so what are some possible fixes for this? Or how can you get the computer to do a relearn like this? Well, the first option and the option that most mechanic shops will use is that if you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has this crankshaft position sensor relearn, then you can use it and you can follow the instructions that it gives out on the screen and it'll do the relearn. Not just any scan tool can do this. The scan tool is going to need the special function inside of there to be able to command the computer to do a relearn. A few years ago, these were very expensive scan tools, usually like at least $1,000 or more. But these days, prices have really come down on these tools. I'll jump over on Amazon just to give you an idea what I'm talking about. For example, this Foxwell NT510 Elite. This is a low-cost option that has the crankshaft relearn inside of it. You need to make sure that it matches your vehicle. This comes for different types of vehicle manufacturers. For example, here's Chevy, Cadillac, and GMC. And then on this page, you can see it's for Honda. Of course, this is just an example. Always be sure to read the listing. Be sure it's compatible with whatever vehicle you're working on. I'll put links down in the description box below for everything I'm looking at here. But there is a lot of other options out there that also have the crank sensor relearn. But basically the first option is use a compatible OBD2 scan tool with the special function to do a crankshaft sensor relearn. And the next option is that you might be able to just drive the vehicle around and the computer might automatically relearn. And this is really gonna vary between vehicles, but sometimes the computer will automatically relearn. So if you just start up the vehicle, let it idle a little bit and just drive the vehicle around, the computer might automatically relearn. You will have to do a little research on your particular vehicle to know whether or not you can do this, but sometimes that is an option. And that's gonna bring us to the next step, which the vehicle might have specific steps that you do for the computer to do a relearn. And this is why sometimes you could drive the vehicle around and it will automatically relearn because at some point when you are driving the vehicle around, you're gonna do these steps that it needs. For example, here's a crank or camshaft relearn for 2002 to 2009 Chevy Envoy. And basically the computer needs to see all these steps and it will do a crank relearn. So you can go and research your vehicle, try to find out if it does have steps that you could go through to get the computer to do a relearn. Quite often forms and things like that, they'll have this information, if it is possible to even do. If you can't find that information and the engine runs well enough to be able to drive around, then you can't just try to drive around the vehicle, drive at different speeds, rev up the engine here or there, different things like this. Because if you just drive the vehicle around, at some point you're going to go through these steps that the computer needs to do a relearn if that is an option for that vehicle. And so the last option is to do some research on your vehicle and find out if it does have specific steps that you can do to get the computer to do the crankshaft position sensor relearn. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with P0315 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.